Okay, now we have an approximate understanding what you want your video's title to be. But that's just an approximation. We need to actually craft a good title and go optimize our description for that. So let's get started with this one. First thing that you need to understand is that the YouTube video title always consists of several parts. And usually those are two parts. One part that works toward algorithm and one that works towards the viewer. One part should be the part that is easily searchable and another one that is enticing people to click. Look, for example, if your main keyword is, let's say, the microphone review, like Sure MV7 review, you're just putting Sure MV7 review in the title. But this is just one part. Other part needs to work towards the viewer, meaning that it should entice them to click. Now, you can actually use other part as an additional keyword. Like for example, I can say, Sure MV7 review the best microphone for voice recording or best microphone for streaming or whatever it is. And this way I can actually gain much more clicks because I will be targeting two long tail keywords. But the second part, the best microphone for streaming also works towards the viewer because the viewer can easily understand the sentiment behind the video. Because yeah, the entire video will not be just a reviewing Sure MV7, but it also building it up to answer the question whether it's the best microphone for streaming or for gaming or for whatever it is. So this gives the correct sentiment. Now we need to be very careful with that and always give the correct sentiment because otherwise your video will count as a clickbait and contrary to the belief clickbait is not a good thing. Granted, clickbait will get you a lot of views but it will not get you a lot of subscribers and it will put you in a bad way with the YouTube algorithm. You don't want to do that. So do not, no matter what, use a clickbait. Always use the words and phrases in a title that are true and are connected to your video. Do the same with the thumbnail and always, I repeat, always have at least one long tail keyword word in the title. By long tail, I mean that something that has a few words, if of course it's applicable towards your video. And if you followed our previous lecture, it's very easy to find out what people are actually looking for and what you need to put in your title. And when I say the title actually decides whether people will watch you or not, it is true. You need to work on crafting a good title. And there is no definitive formula on the successful titles. Trust me, I looked everywhere, experimented with everything. There is no definitive formula. No matter what people will tell you, there is not. Something might work for specific type of people for only very specific time. So if I will teach you that, I will just be teaching you outdated information. And it just does not work. But one thing always stays the truth. You need to use the keywords in the title and the, and, and the title should be true and explaining the sentiment of the video very precisely. If people will not click the video, it's not because the title is bad, it's because the actual idea of the video is not good enough. Made that people just don't want to click it. But descriptions are also very important and very often overlooked. You see YouTube algorithm not just scours the title and tags, for an actual keyword, so it does less for the tags though. It scours the description as well. YouTube needs to understand what the video is all about and if the description is correct and coincides with the words that you say in your video, because yeah, YouTube can actually transcribe your video and understand what the video is all about as well, YouTube will use the words from description as the keywords. Now there is actually a way to put keywords correctly in the video. You can actually create an entire paragraph explaining what the video is and incorporate the keywords that you want to be searched with within this paragraph. You can do this manually or you can use an AI text tools like ChatGPT and ask it to write your paragraph explaining what the video is and ask it to use specific keywords in them. This way it will craft you most likely quite a good AI description. Or alternatively you can do things like I do. Just use the tools like VDAQ, find a good amount of tags, put the tags in a tag field, copy all the tags, create a separate section in the description titled topics of the video and write all of the tags in there. But make it look nice. Don't just throw them in there with a comma. Just make them look quite nice. Also one thing that is often overlooked in a description is call to action. You need to include all the call to actions in the description like subscribe or go to the different stores or websites just to generate you some revenue. And contrary to the popular belief, many people are scouring through your descriptions and many people actually click on different links. So why not put a good call to action there as well? Also know that you can actually change the titles of descriptions anytime. So you can actually experiment with different titles and descriptions to see what will work for you. Now again, none of this matters if you do not choose your titles correctly and by correctly I mean truthfully. All the titles and descriptions should give a correct and truthful description of what your video is all about. And YouTube will understand whether you're lying or not because again it can transcribe your video and understand what is happening in your video and if it does not coincide with your description and your keywords they will punish you. So do not use irrelevant keywords, do not keyword stuff and just be truthful. It is not as difficult as you might think. And also important thing, I highly suggest you to create 
create upload default. It's done through your account setting where you can actually set up the description template, which will feature the structure or all the relevant links that is the same for every other video. And all you need to do is just fill out with the information that is relevant for that specific video and that's it. You will not need to craft the description from zero every single time. But one thing is crafting, another thing is actually understanding and analyzing it. So in the next lecture, we're going to focus on analyzing your videos and the channel's performance and see what you can change and what needs to be changed in your title descriptions or overall in your SEO. So I'm going to see you in the next lecture. Take care.